Poof. Well, um, that was disappointing, wasn't it? Yeah. Leafs lose 5-4 to the Chicago Blackhawks on the night that Wendell Clark got his banner raised to the rafters. And everyone did a very good Wendell Clark impression in the ACC, except for the Leafs in the third. Personally, I think we should just do these mustaches all the time. Like the Marlies from last year's playoffs. The what? Okay, you need to stop doing that with the, the what joke, okay? It's been done. I hate when the Leafs play Chicago, because I literally can't remember the last time the Leafs beat Chicago. And I mean, they lost to them when they closed down Maple Leaf Gardens. And then, I seem to remember a very similar outcome last year. The Health and Safety Committee officially labeled the third period as a choking hazard. Were we winning 3-1? There's nothing we were winning 3-1 against the Blackhawks. Jonathan Taves, who doesn't even have a V, learn to spell your name! At the end of the first period, when the horn sounded, something inside me just said, Ugh, I feel like the Blackhawks are gonna win this game. It was like someone farted in an elevator. Like, I didn't want to say anything because it'd probably be rude, but... Ugh. First and foremost, I had to say it was really, really weird at the beginning of the game seeing the Leafs wear those jerseys. Not because of the jerseys themselves. I actually was like, yes, this is their new jersey, but I was kind of let down. It was the C on the jersey. Because all of this year, we haven't had a Leaf wear the C on his shirt. And then seeing all of them with a C on it, it was, that was a little strange. So I have two questions of the game. One is coming later, but here's your first. If you had to pick a Leafs captain right now, who would it be? I, I, ow, ha. Ah, it's gonna fall off sooner or later. Ben Eager scored the tying goal, which really stings because of what he did in the first period with that hit from behind to Mikhail Grabowski. Now, again, this is where a PVR or a TiVo or something would really come in handy for me. It didn't have the same malicious intent as most hits from behind, and Grabowski did turn at the last second, but if you watch the timing of it, and again, I, I don't get the luxury of watching this in slow motion, it looked like Ben Eager did have time to not hit him. Just my opinion, let me know what you guys think. One thing I've got a lot of comments on already, and this video hasn't even been posted yet, was Jeff Finger did not have the best night. With 27 minutes and 43 seconds of ice time, over a minute more than anyone else on the team, Jeff Finger was a team worst minus three on a night where no one else was worse than minus one. On the complete other side of the table, Jonas Frogren only played three minutes and 54 seconds. When I saw that stat, I thought it was the time he arrived at the rink. But if you thought those stats were bad, check out this one, and a lot of broadcasters were talking about it yesterday. The Leafs are 0 for 15 with the two-man advantage this season. I'm borderline offended by that. You know what? I'm through with this game. Let's talk about bigger and better things. First, in other league news, Wade Belak was put on waivers by the Florida Panthers. There is your second question of the game. Guys, do you want him back? I don't have a definite, yes, we should get him back right now opinion on it, because, I mean, that's something you really should think about. But what I'm thinking about is Ponikarovsky fighting, Kabina fighting, Luke Shen fighting. God, he should never, ever fight. Every time Luke Shen wants to fight, he should have to skate over to Ron Wilson, sign a permission slip, and then fight. It's not that you're not tough enough, Luke. Just please don't break your hand. I mean, that's what Wade Belak does, though. He's good at those punch-in-the-face contests. That, and he was a really funny guy, and he seemed like he was a good guy in the locker room. So I don't know. I think you should consider bringing him back, especially if it's only going to be for, like, one year and for next to nothing. The argument against it would be, oh, he's taking up a spot that a young guy could be using. But I mean, like... Who? I mean, if you're willing to dress a guy for 3 minutes and 54 seconds, surely you're willing enough to put an enforcer out on the ice like Wade Belak. Speaking of fights, man, there was a dandy yesterday. Jody Shelley against Donald Brashear. That was just... Ugh. Oh, jeez, it looks like he's trying to put his fist up his nose, but it won't quite fit. It was a pretty intense tilt. But guys, it's now time to announce the contest winner from last game. What I did was I asked you all to send me a message on leafspace.com telling me the jerseys in order from here to here. And the winner is... Just let me fill with my imaginary envelope. Gong Show Hockey. Make sure you check out Gong Show Hockey's profile on leafspace.com. He must know his stuff because he named all those jerseys really quick. Honorable mention goes to Leafs' biggest fan. The poor guy gave me a list that was right except for one. 
And then, by the time he submitted a correct one, which is literally not even five minutes later, Gong Show Hockey had already won. Last but not least, gotta give a shout out to Toskala35. He correctly identified all the players on the backs of the jerseys. Longvist, Fedorov, Chichu, Kopitar, Zetterberg, Sundin, Havlat, Jokinen, Letnin, Rolison. Whoa! I think you missed one. I'll think of another contest soon because I really appreciated getting all the responses. Make sure you join LeafSpace.com because all the contests are going to be on there. Last thing, uh, just I didn't get a submission for the contest from Monica with a K. I just, I thought we were friends, Monica. I really did. No, no, it's 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 okay. No, 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 it's okay. You don't you don't have to you don't have to participate if you don't want to. It's too late to apologize. Oh, good you. See you guys next game. Peace.